All right, the maintenance on this tower is that uh, you check your belts every six months. Make sure that the belts are tight and uh, you look for like maybe a half inch deflection on the belt itself. Anything more than that, if the belt becomes over tight, it affects the motor itself. Uh, you don't want that. Uh, anything less than that, you hear the motor, when it starts up, the belt starts to squeal and scream and uh, eventually it wears out. Inside here you have two grease fittings. And these grease fittings supplies grease to your two pillar block bearings for your fan shaft assembly. On top, you see shields on top of the bearing itself. Those are water shields to keep water from getting into the bearing. On top and on the bottom. And that's, that's the only maintenance you have to worry about here. Also, you have what you call uh, the spray header itself. When you're cleaning the tower, you want to make sure, make sure that the spray header is clean. There's a clean-out plug on the end of your main header. Just flush it out. That's all you got to do as far as that's concerned. One of the, uh, this is your electronic water level controller. And part of your maintenance on this is to make sure you got four bolts here. All you do is pull this out and make sure that the probes are clean. Because any garbage or anything that attaches to the probe will affect the level in your cold water basin. Your cold water basin normally keeps the level around between uh, 9 to 10 inches. And this is what you call your cold water basin. So you should have the 9 to 10 inches of water in there at all times. And now uh, you have what you call an elect uh, electronic float over here, which is controlled by your level controller. And what that does, based on the level, because during the summertime, the water tends to evaporate and the level drops. So you want to make up. You want to make sure you maintain that level because you do not want to suck air back into the system. So your level is always maintained around about 8 to nine, uh, 10 inches. And uh, like I was saying, over here, you have what's called an electronic uh, cylinder valve, which is open and closed, controlled by this level controller. As far as maintenance is concerned, just a look inside. You clean, these you clean this tower, the cold water basin, every year. That that's part of your maintenance. You got to make sure yeah. You got to make sure that your this seal, this is what you call silencer. All right, you can't see the uh, bottom of the cold water, but this is uh, keeps the noise down. The, these louvers right here. And another thing too, you want to make sure you've got good water treatment because uh, you don't want uh, if you have heat pumps in the uh, in your building. Uh, water will get in there and the rust and dirt and everything else will plug up your uh, heat pump. Every time you turn around, they'll be popping off on high head pressure. So it's important that you have good water treatment. And right now, you see the water like this color here? That's because you have all this construction going on around you. Normally, it's nice and clean and clear. All right, now, you, know, you notice I took this uh, louver out, but normally you don't take the louver out, especially if you're going to do maintenance. The only reason why I took it out is to show the water pattern and uh, to talk about what's going on inside the tower. But again, if you're going to do maintenance on this cooling tower, it's important that you shut it down. You shut down the fan, shut down your pump so that uh, you can get in here and do the maintenance. And again, what you want to do is make sure that the cold water basin is clean because you have a lot of construction going on and it accumulates mud, dirt like that and stuff like that, you know, and you don't want that in your system.